Doing, brother? Very good. Good to see you. Yeah, man. There he is. Hey, how you doing? I'm everywhere. Zeo Tech is that guy? back. How are you, man? Very good. Really good. Really good. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. Happen to be a Vietnam vet myself. USS well, Kitty I'll Hawk. Put you on my list of guys to call. Absolutely. Show sure here at the USS Iowa. Veterans. God bless you, my brothers. Call, road call. That the willingness with which our young people are likely to serve in shall be directly proportional to how they perceive the veterans of earlier wars. And now I'd like to introduce Major Chris Fowler, the chaplain for the United States Army, to give today's invocation. Our first Los Angeles Annual Veterans Appreciation Festival. We thank you for giving the vision for this day to Mayor Villaraigosa and Councilman Buscano. We have assembled here in your presence and in the presence of our fellow patriots to honor and to thank our veterans for their faithful, courageous, and sacrificial service to America, still the land of the free and the home of the brave. Father, help us to remember how truly blessed we are to live in this country and in this city because of your infinite grace and the incredible sacrifices of those who have served before us. Lord, may we never lose sight of the fact that the observance of Veterans Day is not solely for those who have died in combat, but for all those unsung heroes and patriots who served, sacrificed, and fulfilled their military duties with loyalty and integrity. In the power of your Holy Spirit, speak to each of our veterans here and throughout the world in your still small voice and say to them, well done, good and faithful servant. We pray all this in your most precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. On every street corner, at every train station, there are military. But we can match that here by keeping veterans in our minds. All right, this is when it starts getting really fun in here. Everybody, come on, crowd in. I know they're visiting a lot of the Now make sure you notice that there is a mural that has been did here today for them. So all of that is right down in the kids zone area. Please put your hands together for the Honorable Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. To the Marines here, happy birthday. Brave men and women warriors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today's a special day. It's the anniversary of our U.S. Marine Corps, which is why I said happy birthday. Hurrah! Say that again. All right. And today we came together against this awe-inspiring backdrop of the USS Iowa. There's a man sitting to my left, running for mayor, Eric Garcetti. We could have another eight. So I'm saying to both of them, every single year. Say it with me. Every single year. Now, it's the very least we can do for the men and women who have given so much. It would be nice to have a celebration. A place where we could come with our families has been a key partner in making this event a success. Thank you. He came up with the idea. He said, I need your help, Mayor. We want to do it big. We want this 
We want to make this not just a San Pedro event, but a citywide event in San Pedro. And we have, and I want to thank you for that, Joe Buscaino. The organizations who put this together are really the most important reason why we're here today. But most of all, in addition to thanking them, I want to thank you. The men and women have taken the ultimate oath and made the most sacred promise an American can make. What they said is that your sacrifices have not been in vain of the right to vote that comes with citizenship in the United States of America. What he's done, even in the last several weeks, and how he's represented us on a national stage, I want to thank you, Mr. Mayor, for partnering with me on this effort. I'd like to give a sincere thanks to America's heroes, many of whom are here with us today in front of this iconic USS Iowa. Thank you for your dedication and the personal sacrifices you have made for our country. I would also like to acknowledge a very special 93-year-old World War II veteran on stage with me today, Carlos, Trevi Carlos Trevino. Carlos, there he is. Next strategies and movement of the troops. He traveled all over the world, Italy, France, Germany during the World War II, carrying out this important assignment. On behalf of the city of Los Angeles, Mr. Trevino, I'd like to thank you for your service to this great country. God bless you. <laughs> what is a trick? 93 years young. He says, bananas and donuts. <laughs> city Council Member Eric Garcetti. Thank you, Joe, and thank you so much to our great Mayor Villaragosa. The two of you are a dynamic duo that have put this day together. You see, we serve, we serve because freedom is not free. When I think about my own family, I want to point out one veteran, a man who was born in another country, living here more than 20 years. He answered this country's call to serve in World War II and fought in the Pacific Theater. And as a reward, this grateful nation gave him his citizenship. That was my grandfather, Salvador. I wouldn't be here today were it not for Salvador Iberri Garcetti's service to this nation. We know the war doesn't stop when the battles end, and so we are here to say thank you, to not only appreciate you, but to lift you up. God bless, and have a great Veterans Day. Thank you so much. I want to add in my special tribute to all of you who are here today to the many men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice to serve our country. Exposition Park, you can join me and Kobe Bryant because we're walking to end homelessness. Go to homewalkla.org. Introducing a survivor of the battleship Oklahoma. This gentleman is one of 20 survivors left. Gene Dick. This is him. A head salute to his willingness to put into a melting pot every single color, every single religion, every single ethnicity, every single creed. To the veterans, I salute you. Thank you for your service. Let's give her a big hand. She doesn't have to be here today. All right, a big round of applause for all of our speakers here. Mayor, we got our cameraman now. Here he is. Brother, where are you? They told me that you came this way. Brother, where are you? They said that you came this way. Brother, where are you? That was hot. I went to a parade earlier in Long Beach, very well attended, obviously lots of people out here. Can you speak to the importance of Veterans Day? People who defend our liberties don't do it in vain. The vast majority of us recognize that the right to vote, that our democracy, that our liberties and freedoms, it's great to be here with them and with all of you. It's not about me. And believe me, the whole crown and sash thing, so not my thing. 
I'd rather be in like jeans and a t-shirt like rocking my got your back shirt. Thank you. Thank you. So you my name is Julianne, and we're part of the project um, memorializing kids that have not come back from Afghanistan and Iraq. And um, we paint portraits of those kids. One artist and one child that doesn't come back. This gentleman next to me is one of the uh, fathers of the kids that we painted. Not me personally, but someone else. And I want to turn it over to him so he can tell what the experience has been like for him. Hi, my name is Joseph Anzac. My son is right here, Joseph Anzac Jr. All the artists that, that do do uh, paint all these, all these fallen heroes, we never forget our sons, our daughters, our fallen heroes. And I just want to say thank you. And this is a, a, a terrific contribution I'm Robert Sherwin, and my portrait is the one with the green background over here. Jason. Jason was on the rescue squad, and what I learned about him after being wounded, he saved 10 of his friends. Let me put it in those terms. And they're like family, and I'm so thankful that we're able to be here on Veterans Day and share it with the public and with you. Thank you so much. And this is the Veterans Resource Book for the State of California, California Department of Veterans Affairs. Every veteran in the State of California should have one of these books and use the benefits and services that they've richly earned and deserve. And I'm leaning on vacation on Wednesday. Well, have fun. <laughs> All right, get ready to have some fun later on this stage. The lead singer Greg is part of the right. I got the high sign from the left of stage. Everybody, you ready? Paris, let's do this now. Come on.
Chuchita Lopez. Let's give it up for her. Which is a blessing because her husband's home and he's here, he's so we here. want to give a big Where's shout out to Robert. Hey, y'all, man. You know, Robert, good to see you, brother. Robert, 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 he's going back out next week. Yeah. And we want to wish you a you know, safe trip. Let's do our music to you. Yeah. That's all we need.